Are you wearing the tie-dye underneath the shirt? Cracks me up. Oh, by the way, you've been getting a lot of video props saying nice work, Gary. Are you reading the post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed the ones about me. He's appreciative, guys. All right, so here we go. Carpet going in. Very key thing right now that we have to deal with is cutting the hole for the shifter. Well, here it is, a Mustang Medic video. Again, about a Mustang. Imagine that. <laughs> Take the frustration out of restoration. Here it is, Bob's 1969 Mustang GT Convertible. Yeah, surface rust? Really? So what we do is we have the carpet laid in. There's a view of the back, the back carpet. No brainer. I mean, we got we to gotta punch some holes in it because we're going to be putting the seats in. We've got towels on both sides of the doors, again, protecting the paint. Bob, we're protecting your paint. Um, we always make sure that the cars, when they sit next to each other, cannot make contact with each other on the doors, just to be safe. Keep that in mind, guys. We're going to punch the holes into the back carpet, and then we go for the challenging part, which is cutting the hole around the shifter. Very, very key to get it close, because if you're off, it's not good. There's no center console on this car. It's just a, it's just a shifter. So that has got to be perfect. So here we go. Putting it, installing a carpet into a gorgeous 69 Mustang GT. Um, I'm at a loss of words. Here we go. And here we are on the 13th green. The guy was just saying that it, this reminds him of miniature golf. I guess it does kind of. Um, the front carpet goes in first. The back carpet goes in second. And the way you can tell that is by that decorative edge on the carpet. So see how it's kind of rough here? The reason it's rough here is it doesn't matter. It's not visible. This part is what's visible. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to, we're actually going to move this out of our way. Right now we can leave it down here. Okay. We got, Gary's put it in position, tucked it under. So it's all, you see how crinkled it up it is, is right there. And the reason it's crinkled up is because we have to cut a hole for that shifter and cut this carpet out around that, the, the shifter. So when it goes in, it's nice and clean and beautiful. So here we go, getting ready to cut a hole in the front carpet. Dun, dun, dun. One of the nice things about this carpet, which is pretty high end, is it's already got a square cutout, and you know, you've got the sound dampening insulation on air, which is nice, because that's just an added bonus to the soundproofing we've already done. It's gonna be nice and quiet from the underside, Bob. We're gonna go and cut a hole, a crosshatch hole, like an X in the middle of that square, put the shifter around it, and start carving. Here we go. All right, so what we did was we cut the hole, and there's the first step. Got the shifter through, which is allowing us to get the carpet in position so we can more precisely cut the square out for the, uh, um, the fascia for the uh, gear shift uh, lever. All right, Carlos is working on the grill. This is an original OEM grill. There's a minor, where's that fracture? Show me that fracture. Not there. It's got a minor fracture bob in it. You know, it was in there. We can probably be okay with securing it with a washer. It's not worth, uh, and this is, uh, this is normal. This is normal. Yeah, so Carlos is going to um, degrease it, and we're going to paint it with black Krylon, and then we're going to put it all back in. But the grill's getting cleaned up. Nice work, Carlos. All right, so the carpeting we've gotten now in, and slowly but surely, every little quarter inch, and me pushing down on it, and feeling I'm cutting the square out and Gary has brought over the face so we get the, the fascia which is going to help us these four screw-in holes are my guide I'm making sure that my square fits these four screw-in holes nice and snug and tight I got to dig in deep on this side because you can see how deep they are inside there and it, I got to cut into the padding so a minor adjustment about a half inch adjustment to up but I pressed on here and made sure that the carpet is tight on both sides and now, slowly but surely, I'm opening up the hole, and then we're going to have this in. All right, so I've been doing a lot of doing this, making sure it's fitting. And now I'm comfortable with these pins showing. Show that up close, will you, Gary? So these pins are now showing. You want to hand me, where's the face at? Oh. Hold up. <laughs> there, sir. All right, so now these line up with these and it goes on like so and there it is secured
and there is your carpet all clean and pretty around that piece and when we secure it down it will hold the carpet in, in place so here it is Bob your shifter arm is now secured in the front of your new carpet yay, yay. <laughs> is it on? yeah sweating sweating to the oldies here all right that clip is done that part's done so now what we're doing is we're positioning the back carpet in. And the back carpet, as you can see, goes right over the top. And what's nice about this carpeting is it's all form fitted for us, which is great. The next steps, now that the carpet's in place, is on Monday, cutting the holes, securing the seats down. It's gonna solid, make the uh, carpet solid. It looks gorgeous. Front carpet's in position, pretty much done. Most of the holes get cut into the back carpet. And then we'll have the front seats in. We're gonna go after the door panels shortly, Bob. We're gonna clean up these back panels, get these in, start to get the seat in. This is gonna be getting the interior done. After that step, we're gonna do the dashboard. And they only come in black, guys, so Robert Solomon, find me that green for this car. <laughs> and we're gonna have to spray on, unfortunately, we're gonna rough up the surface of the brand new dashboard. Costs about 500 bucks. Always kind of scary process. And then we're going to spray green because we're going back to OEM on this baby. Tears come together nicely. Outsides come together nicely. Engines going to start to come together nicely. You guys, darn, we got a nice 69 GT over here at Mustang Medic. Thank you, Bob, for giving us the honor to work on your car. Take these guys out a great weekend. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com.